Hello, my loves. I'm Eddie Frost. Thank you so much for being here, where we are talking about the multidimensional approach to rapidly and radically healing and transforming during and after narcissistic abuse. If you are a returning subscriber, say hi. Your comments and shares really mean the world to me. It's really important to get this message out to change and save lives, right? So, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. This video is about... Um, a subject that came up on our coaching call yesterday, which um, in the Sovereign Programme, so I'm the founder of the Sovereign Programme, which is radical healing and transformation. I combine personal development skills with um, energetic and spiritual practices in order to not just heal, right, but to transform your life into the one you want, right, so that you actually get to understand manifestation and how to make your life more beautiful on your terms, with more love, with more authenticity, with more of what you want in it. So we talk about healing, transformation, and really living our dreams, right? I want us to know that no matter how hard it's been or what you've been through, you can still create a beautiful life from wherever you are and how old you are is, is the youngest you're ever gonna be, right? So a lot of people sometimes think, well, you know, is it worth it? at a certain time in life, it's always worth it. It's always worth healing. It's always worth transformation. It's always worth playing for more fulfillment in our lives, right? Anyway, so that's just a little introduction. The shared fantasy with the narcissist. What does this mean? Right. During the love bombing stage, yeah, the narcissist projects an image of who you need them to be. They know how to, because it's work, because they work in the psychic realm, right? It's an energy attack. They know how to <sighs> present themselves as someone who, who fulfills your unmet needs, right? I talk about this in the program, but basically we all had unmet needs as children, many of us. And the narcissist knows how to present an illusion of being the person that's going to give you mainly emotionally what you need. They're actually going to do the opposite of that. But in the love bombing stage, right, um, you fall in love with a narcissist you feel like they absolutely like are your soulmate often you feel like they get you this can happen with a parent as well and a friend and anyone else but let's talk about romantic partners because it's easy to make the example so in the love bombing stage they know how to present to you your ideal partner they know what you want and need. And this is the thing about narcissistic abuse. So many people don't understand that the narcissist intentionally hurts you. They know how to love bomb you. They know how to hoover you. They know what you want and need. And they, they present this illusion, right, of, who, of what that is. And then they do the exact opposite because what they really want is to trauma bond you, keep you stuck in the cycle, right, and keep you in pain and suffering and misery. Happy and fulfilled people are very hard to control. Miserable, trauma wonder people are very easy to control, right? So what I need you to know is that because we have, we want to meet that soulmate, because we want that parent to be who we, who they love bomb us and pretend to be, we consent, not necessarily intentionally, to the shared fantasy. And that keeps us in the trap because part of the trauma bond and part of when we are trying to fix the relationship, trying to make it work, is trying to get the person we thought they were back. But here's what I need you to know. They, are, they were never that person. They were never that person. It's a shared fantasy. They presented an illusion because they know exactly what you want and need and how to pretend to be it, right? So don't think they don't know what they're doing. They do. And because we so want to believe it, and because there's also something called cognitive dissonance that comes in to us psychologically. So let's talk about that. What this shared fantasy does to our brains. The brain can't hold on to two opposing ideas. So I've talked about this before on the channel. My brain can't hold on to my dad loves me and my dad abuses me right? It can't hold on to two opposing ideas. So we get cognitive dissonance, which means we start ignoring reality and holding on to the shared fantasy. I want to hold on to my dad loves me. So I'm ignoring that he and the brain can't hold two things at the same time, two opposing ideas at the same time. So we get in this confusion and we start literally this, this cycle basically creates cognitive dissonance. And so we basically start ignoring all the hurt, all the pain, and focusing on the shared fantasy, what we want it to be, more than the reality, right? More than the reality. We've got to look at what's real, because love bombing stages don't last very long, but the predominant thing about narcissistic abuse is 
it's it's not just abuse because abuse wouldn't work if it was just abuse there has to be highs and lows they have to build you up and crash you down that's how they trauma bond you as well that's that adds to the trauma bond but if it was just abuse it wouldn't work so well it wouldn't mess up our biology and our chemistry so well so the love bombing stage is when they know how they know when to project that image again and get you back on the hook but what I wanted to do is face reality. Now, there was a good question on the channel and I was thinking about whether to do a separate video. I've done many videos on this before, but in the earlier days. But like, you can intellectually know this, yeah? And still be in the cycle, why? Because, and this is what a big part of what I do in Sovereign, if your body doesn't process the emotions, the trauma is stored in your body and in your vibration. Trauma literally blocks our manifestations, right? And keeps us vibrating low, even if we're thinking that we're not. So intellectually, just no, you can't fix a feeling, something trapped in your body with a thinking. Knowing intellectually about the shared fantasy doesn't heal it. The work I do in Sovereign does, right? Because your body gets to process the emotions. This is why a lot of talking therapy alone may not be that effective. If you've been in therapy for years and you haven't healed, how effective is that, right? What, what's missing is processing the emotions. We need to process emotions like our body processes food and water, yeah? And if we don't take the time to do that, that's all we need to do is process emotions. I've got some very quick, very effective tools for that. Then it's gone from the body. And then the feeling, the feeling in the body isn't triggering the thinking again, yeah? But you can't solve the trauma in the body by thinking, you can't think your way out of trauma. So please come into Sovereign if you can, because that it gives you the processes to heal the trauma that changes your vibration. You start manifesting before we even get onto manifesting. Because when we're not traumatized, we're an energetic match to our good much more easily than when we are, right? So it's our vibration that counts. But what I want you to know here is it's all the unprocessed emotions, right? that keep us in PTSD and, and stuck. What we have to take, do is take the time to process them. I still use my sovereign processes, right? And, and I have to kick myself up the butt because sometimes I forget to, and that's when my life doesn't work out very well, right? So it's really good work. So if you wanna join the notes or in the comments, please keep liking, subscribing, and sharing. We are changing and saving lives all the time in this work. And I get so excited because I had my coaching call in Sovereign yesterday and people sharing their breakthroughs. And look, I'm not just here for your breakthroughs, I'm here for your challenges, right? Because I've been through hell and back and a lot of you have as well. And so it's not just, don't, you know, I'll help you through your challenges and I'll celebrate your breakthroughs with you because this work works, this knowledge and wisdom changes things. You, Your body knows what to do once it, you are knowing how to work with it right and release the trauma the shared fantasy is an illusion that the narcissist projects that keeps you stuck and trauma bonded and isn't who they really are what we have to do is be honest with who they really are lots of love guys i'll speak to you soon